Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the genie from the new Aladdin movie. So let's get started. To draw this new genie, we're going to first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come here and draw a circle. And we're going to give it a little bit of space, come over here and draw another circle. And then let's come in here and we're going to draw a curve right here. So I tried giving it draw so cute eyes and this genie just did not look right with draw so cute eyes. So hopefully you like these eyes I gave it, gave him. So I'm going to come right here and draw another curve towards the edge. Then I'm going to give it a little highlight right here and shade this part in. So that's the same thing on this side. So now that we have the eyes in, let's come underneath right here between the eyes and we're going to draw his nose. So I'm just going to soft curve. Then I'm going to connect it with a wider curve right underneath his nose. So this is basically <laughs> the beginning of his goatee. It looks so funny right now, right? Um, I promise it'll all come together. Come underneath this curve and we're going to draw his mouth. So right here, just right underneath, just right under his nose, we're going to draw his mouth. So a big smile, so we're going to come down and connect it. There. And then now we can go ahead and finish the goatee. So we're going to come underneath his mouth. And right in the center, we're going to add a little curve right here. And we're going to bring this curve all the way up to meet that. So we're just starting to build his goatee. And bring it up. There. <laughs> and then let's come in here. We're going to bring it all together. So come down with this part right here towards the center. And about right there. Now it's nice and centered. We're just going to taper it off and connect it with a curve. And let's come in here. Before I forget, I'm going to add a little band right here. And then the rest of it, I'm going to shade in black. So it's easier for you to see what's going on. Just gonna come in here and thicken this part right here underneath the nose. There. <laughs> I got a little bit too thick here with my sharpie because it's a little bit too thick, but I hope you get the idea for his goatee. And then let's come above his eye and we're gonna draw his brow. So I'm gonna come about right here and I'm just gonna wave it a little bit, come up and then down. So same thing here. Oops, too much. <laughs> there. And then I'm going to come in with a much thinner Sharpie now that we're here. And I'm just going to draw his teeth. So I'm going to come in between right here because I don't want this part too thick. And right in the center, I'm just going to give him a little line right here for indication of his teeth. And I'm going to darken this part in right here on the edge. There, now we have his teeth. <laughs> okay, so then now let's finally go back and we're going to draw his face. So let's come to where you started with the eye. So about right here, close to his eye, we're going to start to draw his face. So let's bring this down. And about right there, I'm going to start to curve it in because I want to aim towards this area. Start to bring it in. 
and we're going to do the same thing on this side. So right here, bring it down. And once again, about that area, we're going to bring it down. There. Now I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. So we're going to start to draw his head. And by right there, I'm going to start to go up. Bald head, so we don't have to worry about hair right here. So we're just going to go all the way up and round it off. And about right there, I'll start to round it off. And connect. And then let's come above right here. We're going to draw the little hair that he has tied up right here. So we're going to come right there, centering it. And connect. And then add that little hair tie right there. And connect it once again. And then now for his um, ponytail right here. So right here I'm going to come up and I'm just going to curve it out and bring it back in. Add a little curve right here for detail. And I'm just going to color this part in as well, just so it's easier for you to see. There. Now let's go and draw his ears. So around where his eyes are, I'm going to come up here, right there and point it, and bring it down. Let's draw some details inside. So same thing here. Point it out. And we're going to end about right there. So I'm going to come out right here and we're going to draw his big shoulders. So I'm going to come about right here. And the same thing on this side. So about right here. And we're going to bring this curve down so we know where to put his shoulders. And then let's imagine his armpits. His shoulders are right here. So I'm just going to say about right here. I'm going to give myself two points, nice and centered. So about right here. And on this part right here, I'm going to bring a curve down. On this side, I'm not going to bring it down too much because I know he has fingers right there. So I'm just going to shorter mark. And then let's go ahead and we're going to start to build his arm. So let's bring this down a little bit more. So we can figure out how to draw his arms when they're crossed. So now that we have that part in, we know there's going to be a curve right here for one arm. So I'm going to come about right here underneath the beard. And I'm just going to draw a curve towards this point. It kind of comes down there. And then right in this area, I'm going to draw his three fingers, his, finger, his hands that come out. So right in between right here, we're going to draw one. Just going to be a slight slant and three. And then you can go ahead and finish this curve in. And then let's finish this curve right here. Just bring it in a little bit more. And we're going to slowly build his arm. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come about right here. And we're going to draw another curve. So it's going to come all the way down. So this is all going to connect. So about where his elbows are. And connect it. And then let's draw the other one. So it's all going to be in the same length, same level. But right there and then just tuck it in right to about here. There. 
So then let's go ahead and draw the um, bracelets that he has on his arm. So I'm going to come right here close to where his hand is. I'm just going to draw some curves. I'm going to simplify. Maybe just make two simple bands. Add some designs to it. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> and then same thing underneath right here. So towards this hand, we're going to add going this other way. There. Okay, so then now let's go ahead and draw his body. So we're going to come about right here where his body would be his chest area. And so then come out about right here. So right there. And we're going to start to draw the bottom part. So we're going to come down with a curve. Thank goodness we don't have to draw legs, right? <laughs> so then we're just going to start to make it look like smoke. So start bringing it down and we're going to get thinner as we come down. So start curving and getting thinner. And about right there, I'm going to start to wiggle it. And just bring it together. And then let's come right underneath right here and draw the wrap. Right there. And so about right here. And if you want, you can add a little belly button right here for him. And I'm just going to add some detail right here. Just give it some a band, however you want to decorate this band when you're coloring it. And then let's come back up and let's um, draw his necklace. So I'm going to simplify this necklace. I'm just going to go around his neck. So there's many parts to it, but I'm just going to draw the top part. Make it a little bit easier. And then let's come in here and draw one. Let's see here, two, three. And then there's a center one. Oops, now I made it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that in the computer. One, two, three, and then let's pretend there's one right there. And then let's just go ahead and thicken this. There, okay. So then now finally, <laughs> last but not least, the lamp. So I'm going to come right here where I ended and just make sure my, um, the genie is coming out of the lamp. I'm going to put a little curve right there for the opening of the lamp. And I'm going to bring this down. And this down. And then let's come down with a curve. Let's see about that much. And I'm going to draw the body of my lamp. So then let's draw a little lid for it. And the center. And let's see here. So then that's the center. Then let's draw the base. And then the handle. So right here, let's draw the handle up, curve it around, and bring it back up. So there, I hope you love how this new genie turned out and I inspired you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.